All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC, DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 18 wins, nine losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, and now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. guys fight with their ego. They try to go and fight their opponent in their spots. Let's see if this proves to be a very bad decision. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Right hand by this young man. Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Donald. 
Attempts the front kick there. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Way to control the posture of your opponent. Rotate him and then throw that big elbow around the guard. Back and forth we go. Oh, just misses with the kick. Big head kick. Try to establish that jab. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big punch lands over the top. How does it follow this one? Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, beautifully placed with that lead hook by Lee. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you've got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. you got to get the elbow to the side. Otherwise, you're going to land one that's going to shut everything down. Big kick. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator, not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head a lot of times until the end of the night. Got a little experience. Yes, I do. Horrible. Nice kick. So a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Real quick leg kick. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Dunham gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Lands. Punch coming, it's blocked. Straight to the body there by Dunn. And he landed the right hand there. Went for the inside leg kick. Caught that kick there. Nice strike. Twenty seconds left. Straight counter, goodbye, Dunk. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Round two next. signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next Ready? round. High Ready? number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with this kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. 
All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Got him. Whistles hit into that kick. Head kick. Dunham's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Oh, man, don't be afraid to raise the guard as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in waving his Waving it off. It could be over in an instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighter setting it up and then throwing that head kick over the top. Nice job setting it up. Good job landing. Great offense. hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Three minutes to go in round two. Nice punch, man, over the top. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Nice one-two there. Over and over, he's landed a big body kick. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figures the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Beautiful strike. Got to check these low leg kicks. Caught the kick. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Take Take nice body kick. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up? A beautiful strike like that knee with. We'll see very shortly. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking tonight. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was the significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, another one lands flush. One head kick after the next tonight. Can someone tell me how his opponent is still standing? Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Swing and a big miss by Dunn. Oh. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, and just truly makes up the target. Sight to behold. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Nice combination of strikes there by Dunn. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, 
but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Oh, is that a good knee to the body there by Lee? Good punch. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Body kick now by Evan Dunham. Nice head movement there by Evan Dunham. Just out of range with that right hook. Look at him whip his hip to that kick. Dunham going for the head kick. No dice. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, big punch lands. So he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making oh. a... Oh. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Just misses with the jab. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Nice sneaky head kick. Looking for that left hand, just missed. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Single collar tie now. Big kick. Got a lower job, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Take him down. Big head oh, kick. Nice strike landed there by Dunn. Let's get some offense. Right punches there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice head kick. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Slipped that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can go off. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, missed on that one. Dunham gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. 20 seconds left. Round three. 
big leg kick land. Whoa! What a round. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. Jack, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Blocks the shot. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Body shot now, but it's turned back by Lee. Dunham's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. That was a nice strike. Dunham gets hit by that leg kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Big kick lands. Oh, nice straight punch there by Dunn. That kick blocked by Lee. Nice punch lands. Nice head kick. Lands flush with that right hand. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Under three minutes now to go in the round. at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Big knee to the body. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Came in inches right there. It was a good night at that landed. And both guys really throwing with authority. Great punch. And they set. <laughs> Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Can't take many of those. You better check. his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. One minute. Oh, it looks like he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. A lot of body weight from the top position. How does he go about trying to finish this fight? He just needs to stay heavy. He's got to keep his weight down. He's got to be working, but not working recklessly because this is a position that you can escape. Make sure you secure your opponent 
and make sure you secure your opponent. Land strikes that pattern and end this fight. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Well, you see all the graphic repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Evan Dunn. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Horn sounds for the end of round four. So there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Final round. Connects with a right. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. He got the turnover in that kick. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Big head kick lands. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Nice movement punch. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you gotta protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. All right, the official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 36 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in and even.